Hey guys, this is Maduba John from MJC Designs. Welcome to today's video tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to create this particular pattern using roof and cutting wall. I'm using roof because the roof is like the fastest to create this particular pattern. Some people actually use shell to, I think that's like a long process. I always try to make sure that you find the easiest way to create a certain thing. So we're going to use um, roof, but before then, I'm, I'm going to draw this particular pattern as you can see here. Okay, yeah, I'm going to draw this particular pattern. This is this is what I did with the shell too, but I actually discovered that you can do the same thing using roof. Now I'm going to show you guys how I actually created this particular this particular shape right here. So first off, we go to a cycle and create a big cycle like this. We want to create a triangle. All right. Then we then I'm going to make a copy or rotate this right here. All right, and then move, make a copy and put it right at the center right here so that i can create a proper triangle as you can see this is not the center so i'm going to move it to the center good so we're going to use a line to create okay to create a um, triangle right here so from this center take it down to this center and this point and this Right. If you notice, they are all the same dimension, like so, like so, like so. Let's check the dimensions if they are actually the same. As you can see, they are the same. So this is how to create a proper triangle, all right, with the same, as you can see. But I, what I watch, what actually want is to make them just 3000 mm. So I'm going to just um, scale them, right? Using our scale resize, like so. Just click this and take it back. Just type your 3000. Okay. And that's that. So we have our sides. As 3000 each if you measure the other one to you get 3000 okay now that's 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 the size of what we actually want to create so you go ahead go ahead and delete this so the next thing we do is try to get the center like so from here get the center from here Get the center and from here get the center okay so the next thing we'll do is we have to break this line at this point right here okay so on suspend and break your this line right here by creating a node the same thing Creating a node, the same thing, creating a node. Okay, then what we do next is to shift this by a particular number, okay, that we want, just like what we have right there. Okay, so let's shift it by 450, okay. So after drawing a line pattern just like so, like the method we use to create a proper triangle that has the same dimension.
we are going to just take our roof right here okay check the settings make it um about let's say 15 thickness okay and then activate the shade the surfaces change it to white okay and maybe we might just want to leave this or maybe change everything to white okay and that's pretty much it and change this to be this right here or let's say let's leave it at this so that they don't they don't overlap so i'm going to say okay and then make sure this is activated and this particular one which is a complex roof is activated so that we can actually trace the roof shape the cotton wash shape rather so it's it's very fast using this particular method okay sorry we the 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 roof the roof edge is actually it and we are going to make it zero okay now that's pretty much it. Then we are going to see what we have in our 3D. This is perfect. This is just what we want. This is the shape we want. Now from our 3D we created, as you can see, this is why we are using this particular pattern. Okay. So that there will be continuity. Then what I'm going to do with this roof right here now is I'm going to create this particular pattern and this particular pattern to show you what it looks like. Make a copy of this right here. This is the roof. Okay. And we're going to form this shape right here. As you can see, we already created something like this. Okay, so I'm going to take this out and complete this pattern right here. So creating, completing this pattern, we have to create, let me make a copy of this, right? And then, you, yes, you split it. You split this particular shape right here. Then split into single plane roof, then split anyways, okay? Then I haven't, I haven't splitted it, it will be, it will show like it is being grouped, okay? So you can see it's grouped. You have to suspend, suspend the group so that you can always delete what you don't want like this. You can delete this pattern you don't want. So first of all, I'm going to leave the group on suspended and make sure I get this particular pattern right here. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to delete this one by I'm suspending the group. I can delete each each patterns. Okay. Now this particular pattern, this pattern here, uh, we have to move it down to this point. This is where the continuity, the continuity. Sorry. I have to move it to this point. Okay, so that when they join each other, I'm going to do the same thing here. Mirror this copy. The sense is that when you copy all this right now, let me shift this side here. When you copy all this right now and add it to this side, you see that there is continuity. Okay, when you put this right here, copy all this.
as you can see they, they make a continuous pattern like so the same thing when you do like this as you can see they make continuous pattern so i'm going to undo this right now and this is the pattern we want such that we can create continuous pattern now what we're going to do right now is get the measurement of this particular shape we did from here to here is six thousand okay we are going to get from here this highest point right here up to this point Uh, like 5196 okay so what we are going to do now is we are going to make this a pattern okay save as cutting wall cutting wall panel okay then you save Okay, cutting wall panel four. Let's make a cutting wall panel four. Okay. Good. So, and we are going to make this also cutting wall panel. Five. Good. So we are going to create a cutting wall right now and before that go into the cutting wall settings. Okay, as you can see this is, I think I've worked on this before, but before that you go to the cutting wall panel settings, right? They are favorite you have a little favorite here that you might see as a default okay you might see this as a default right and all you need to do is delete what you don't want okay like this you are going to delete this okay like delete this delete one of this delete this also so now you see we have the weight and the height now the height we calculated as 5196 and this we calculated as 6000 okay now this is because we want it to fit into we want that pattern to fit into one of these um panel all right so having done that we are going to go to the panel and choose the type of panel we want okay we have um, custom panel, right? Custom panel, and then we choose panel, cutting warp panel um, four, right there. And the direction is zero top direct this is panel thickness 80 we're going to see what these these things mean okay so let's draw a panel let's draw a cutting wall rather now this is it we are going to check what it gives us okay this is what it gives us it has not changed we are going to go back to our settings and change the this distinct panel into okay change it to panel four okay now as you can see um a panel is not straight and uh, that's because from this our orientation it was 12. I'm going to change it to zero. As you can see, this is the original um, orientation of our panel we created. So I'm going to adjust this 
uh, everything right here. Okay, so the rotation was actually bad from the beginning. So I'm going to just turn them by rotating them to a proper okay like so i might have to create a straight line to correct this but let's see if our guideline will help us okay now this is perfect this is perfect i'm going to resave this okay to panel 4 replace do the same panel 5 replace So let's see what we have in our 3D should edit, should correct itself. So pretty much perfect. As you can see the pattern, they are continuous like so. So when you increase this height, this height, you see that they continue like so. Okay, we have to increase this. When you have something like this going on, then you have to apply some creativity into this particular stuff right here. But before, but before I get to that point, let me show you how to actually adjust the thickness of this particular stuff right here. As you can see, the thickness are quite flat from here, but it's not flat from our original um, object. So you go to the settings and... Okay, so we are going to look at why this is flat by going to the settings and... Okay, so from here, we see this is a distinct... We are using the distinct um, panel. So we want to actually change it to main panel okay so that we can actually adjust the main panel instead so we're going to go to the panel itself and this should be just here basic right and then this which is the main panel we are working with should be a custom right and then we are going to put this as 400 and this as minus 300 okay let's say minus 300 We are going to keep adjusting the numbers so that they would fit into this particular mullions, right? And then later we'll remove the mullions. So I'm going to make it 2 2 and see what it gives us. I think the shape is coming out really nice and we are going to maybe change the outline of this particular shape. We're going to change the outline, which is the roof, change it to
as you can see this is where it joins together okay so this is where it joins together so you can see a little bit of gap we can always adjust them okay and let's let's try to remove the mullions mm. that's the frame right there and we have the mullions we will have the mullions to make it invisible same thing right here transform frame make it invisible okay and then the corner the corner frame uh just make it leave it at that the boundary frame leave it at that that's the boundary frame right here okay leave it at that i said that we need to remove it as you can see we just removed the mulliums so you can see the mulliums again so now we are going to actually make sure that all these are joining okay these are just basic little little settings you have to correct while working on this particular stuff right here and the mulliam we see i think we have to go to the there's a space right there i think so we just make it zero and this right here make it zero okay so i think we should join as you can see so basically this is how to create cotton wall facade using roof instead of a shell shell tool so you can actually use roof to create this type of stuff okay so we are going to also um change this pattern into the first the other pattern we created to see what it gives us okay by just going to your panel and your main panel which is what we are using because of the skin right here okay on here we, we did it to be main panel okay so we go back to our panel and change the from the main panel right here and change the right sorry right here and change it to cotton wall five okay so that's the this is cotton wall five actually cotton wall five is going to show like this because we are not working with the real size of the cotton wall right as you can see some of it are, it's not distorted it's actually very very okay but the settings are not the same settings we have for um the first one so we are also going to start adjusting this like the, the thickness of this from here okay just to get the perfect um size that fits what we have right there so this is basically how to create pattern cotton wall pattern like cotton wall facade using roof tool now this particular stuff right here is because it is not the same size like this we are working with a particular fixed size that's why it can it fits but here it is not the same size so all we need to do is probably since this looks like a um like half of this particular pattern all we need to do is create a pattern like this a separate pattern like this okay and then you fit you change it you change this one into that pattern you just created i'm going to show you a sample right now and this is basically for our members only yes our members only so all you need to do is join our membership program okay this is to actually support mjc designs to support the channel so that we can you know go uh in numbers and also we can go financially to also to have the the resources to create content on a regular basis okay so thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next one Bye bye